Welcome back, AP Computer Science A students. This is Mr. Vargas, and I am here to introduce you to the fourth practice free response question. So this question is called Horse Barn, and it is from the 2012 AP Computer Science A exam. And this question focuses on arrays. So last week we did array list. This week we're doing arrays. If you guys remember, the one of the two questions you're going to take on exam day will deal with either arrays or array list. And I'm actually going to send you guys out a document that compares and contrasts both of those structures. Uh, but I'm not going to go too much into that in this video. Um, instead, I just want to kind of break this problem down. Another thing that I want to note before I jump into this program is uh, that there is the first thing you might see up here is public interface horse. Uh, this is something we haven't done, and it's something you will not see because it's actually been taken out of the um, the curriculum or the required material for AP Computer Science A. So there are no more interfaces anymore in um, AP, um, but there it won't really impact you for this um, problem. Um, basically, just assume wherever it says interface that it's just class, so it's public class horse. And then um, we have uh, get name and, and get weight. These are methods. So assume that this right here is basically this, the horse class. And I'm actually going to give you guys this code. So um, you're going to have a public class horse, and it horses have a name, and they have a weight, and we have a get name and a get weight method. So I'm going to give you this code. So uh, again, just ignore the interface. Don't get tripped up with it. It will not impact you at all. For this program, I'm going to give you the horse class, and I'm actually going to give you um, a skeleton for the horse barn, and I'm going to give you a runner as well. So um, I know a lot of you guys um, like being able to test and run your code. Um, again, you don't have to run your code. In fact, on the AP exam day, they, they specifically, I think, are going to try to set it up so you can't really run your program. Um, they just want you to code and not worry, or they want you to, they want to see your logic. But I know you guys like for, like it for testing purposes, so I'll, I'll give you guys that. But anyways, let me get into the problem. So um, the horse barn, so public class horse barn. Public the horse barn class has one instance variable, and it is an array of horses. And that array is called spaces. And it has two methods. And these two methods are basically your two questions. So the first method is called find horse space. Right here we have some uh, comments that kind of explain how find horse space works. Notice it returns an int. So what find horse space does is you send in a, um, a name and it finds the location of a horse with that name. And again, this is all explained over here in these comments. Sometimes you guys get a little tripped up with the structure of this. This is just how comments are usually written. Um, but anyways, uh, down here, one thing I like about this question is that they, they use diagrams. And I like diagrams and I like, you know, example code in these questions. Um, but anyways, so over here, there, so here's kind of, this is the official question. So I was just going off of the comments, but down here is the question. Um, so you have a horse barn. It's called Sweet Home, and it has the following um, data. So this is what the horse barn called Sweet Home has. And if you do sweet home dot find horse space and then you put in a name, so for example, trigger, it returns the location of where trigger is. So that will return a zero. And silver returns two because that's where silver is. Cocoa returns a negative one because there is no cocoa. All right. So that is um, question A. That's the first question. And this one is pretty straightforward. Um, you just have to remember that you're looking inside of spaces and you have to remember that spaces is an array of horses. And so, you know, at each element in the array, you're looking for a certain name. And remember that each element in the array, again, is a horse and that horses have a method called get name. In a way, this is kind of similar to the uh, remove variety method from um, cookie order and if anything it's easier because in in remove variety you have to remove all the cookies of a certain variety in this one you don't have to remove anything you just have to find the location of that horse 
one other thing that you don't have to worry about is over here it says no two horses have the same name so you don't have to worry about that special case so that's a b is called consolidate and let me jump down here to where they kind of show you the little diagram for b so again we have the same um you know horse barn the same array of horses and now what so what consolidate does it moves everything over to the left so you know we have four horses up here down here we still have four horses but they're just all moved to the left so you know if there's a null it has to move over and and that's pretty much it now this one right here there's a lot of different ways to do it and in fact in the official ap solution there's they actually listed three different ways of accomplishing this so um so that's the question now let me just tell you what i'm going to give you guys so over here you have the horse class which i mentioned you know in in the document they talk about interface don't worry about interface you're using this horse class so this is how every horse is set up i'm also giving you um horse barn so horse barn i mean there's not really much to horse barn Horse Barn um, has, again, an array of horses called Spaces. And it has the locations for your two solutions. A is going to be for Find Horse Space. B is for Consolidate. Um, we have a constructor. Now, notice the constructor, you know, there, there's different ways to set this up. But the constructor takes, you, you don't really have to worry too much about the, how, what the constructor is doing. But it's basically taking in an array of horses and setting setting spaces to that array and the reason i did that was because over here if you look at my runner so i'm also going to give you this runner so this runner first we create an array of horses that has the same data as in the question then we create a new horse barn and notice inside the horse barn we're sending in this array so what that basically is doing it's sending this array into horse barn and then then the horse barn puts it in spaces okay so you don't really have to, that, that doesn't really matter for your answer, for your solution, but I just want you to know what it's doing. All right, and then down here, what we're doing is first we're testing A. So for A, we are, um, we are just looking for these three names and you should get the same solution, the same um, answers as over here, zero, negative two, and one. And actually I, I did a screenshot of what it should look like. So, um, you know, once you get part A done, it will say zero, it'll say trigger in zero, trigger in two, tr Coco in negative one. So that is, um, that explains this part. And then down here, what we're doing is we are, um, you're just, basically you're, you're printing out the, ar the array and then you're doing consolidate and then you're printing it out again. And if you did it correctly, you'll it should look like this. So this is the the original array, and then this is after you've done consolidate, and you notice that everything has moved over, and all the nulls are at the end. So that is pretty much it. I will I'm gonna be sending you the code for this um, for the horse barn, horse runner, and horse, and you guys just have to code your solutions right here. And if you once you get it done correctly this should be your output i'm also going to send you a document of the differences between arrays and array list and and that's it so make sure don't don't wait till friday to start this you know try to start a little earlier and um please feel free to ask me questions and um just do your best even if you're um again remember the scoring is, is pretty forgiving with these just do whatever you can do You'll be surprised how quickly you can get to the average score on a lot of these just by, um, you know, by just doing a couple of, of things in there. So that's it. Um, good luck. And I will see you later.